Okay, I'm back. Rob here for Southwest Florida Television. This is part two of my Thursday morning beach walk at Del Norwegans Pass State Park up in North Naples, Florida. Boy, in just a day, that sun has really moved around. It's behind the building now. It's just coming up over top of the building. Just a few days ago, it was over in between them when it was coming up. Look at that. And there's our sunrise peeking up over the building. We're going to take a little stroll down the beach. Keep our fingers crossed that we have a new sea turtle nest, but I'm not going to hold my breath. Seeing that park ranger out here so quickly. Usually if there is a nest, it takes them a while to get up to this end of the park because they're busy checking on the nest and verifying it. And I lost the moon. It went behind the clouds. Saw that beautiful full buck moon earlier. Got a couple good looks at it. but it has gone behind the clouds. Sort of Wiggins Pass, up at the north end of Del Nor Wiggins Pass State Park. That's Barefoot Beach over there on the other side. Gosh, if you missed yesterday, it's the evenings, last night's sunset walk. Oh. Had some audio issues, rain got in the mic on the camera. I was out there in the rain for your enjoyment. Keep that in mind. It was just stunning yesterday. This was the end of yesterday. It was just incredible. Most incredible rays, the God rays shooting up. As far as quality on Facebook live feeds, the best quality is going to be when you watch it live. It doesn't get any better in the playbacks than the saved videos. Hey, good morning, Peter. Saw some absolutely incredible colors this morning. Incredible. This whole sky here, all these clouds that you see here, just all lit up. They were on fire when I came around the corner this morning. It's a beautiful blue sky up here. Gorgeous. I'm gonna start my walk down the beach. Heidi, good morning. It's fairly calm out there in the Gulf this morning.
Looks like a little ghost crab was busy down here this morning digging its little burrow, its little den, whatever you call it. It's hole in the sand. A fresh little ghost crab hole down here. Let's see how it's... They're so fun to watch shoveling out that sand with their claws. Roy and I stood up here one morning watching one. It was, it's kind of comical looking. You see these little holes and you're wondering what they are. Those are ghost crabs. Every once in a while you'll see them running around. They're white. That's why they call them ghost crabs. They kind of blend in with the sand. Sometimes if you just hang over their little nest there, they'll come out if you're real quiet. in some seriously shallow water. It's right on, there's a sandbar out there. You can see the birds on it out there. Boy, there is a lot of sand getting pushed up here. We're just a little, not too far away from low tide here, but it's gonna be shallow out here this evening. I hope we can get out here tonight. Hey, thank you for the stars, I appreciate that. look at our sun. It's going to be behind the trees for a little while while we're walking down the beach. It's got to be the most ridiculous thing I've seen. Buy a boat so you can pull up on the sandbar and catch bait. <laughs> I think that's the guy that speeds out of here every morning. Wow, this is getting ready to close. Remember I said this this part of the beach here was wrapping around? It's starting to close in. Look at that. Look at all of this beach here. Wow.
Boy, super, super low tide here. Super low tide. Not super, super low tide. Tonight, it should be good. I hope Kathy's watching. It's gonna be a good low tide tonight, Kathy. We gotta come out here. I think the weather's gonna cooperate with us. Good morning, Anna. Benita Beach up towards Fort Myers Beach. It's beautiful views. Beautiful views. This guy with his net here in the water, the birds following him. So he's got a full net of bait. Dragging it back to the boat. Hey, Randy. Good morning. I only noticed one set of crawl tracks on the beach this morning. That was up here towards the north end. I don't know. I couldn't tell if it was promising or not. Some cool clouds, some really cool looking clouds up here this morning. We go from that dark blue down to that powder blue, baby blue sky. Beautiful blues there. Beautiful blues. The waves breaking over the shallows.
hit that share button if you're enjoying the blues. Our Thursday morning blues. I've not seen lately is our friend Fisherman Sal. Hey Steve, good morning. What a sunset last night. Wasn't that just incredible? And then this morning, oh man, I hope Facebook saved my first live feed this morning. The colors, unbelievable. The sky just ignited. The eastern sky, amazing. It was so cool. I was live when I walked up the beach and around the corner to the pass. It was so cool. Then we had that big full moon out there. Oh, awesome, Peter. It's a crapshoot sometimes. That's why if you don't watch it live, there's no guarantee you're going to get to see it later. Facebook used to let me download the videos in HD after I ended each live feed. And they stopped doing it. I don't know what the deal is. This must have been eating up too much room on their servers. Good evening. Good evening. Good morning. <laughs> Good evening. I'm in dreamland out here. Hey, yesterday, I, since I wasn't out here on the beach yesterday morning, I put a little video together for Kauai Achobe Animal Preserve with me and Zahara the zebra. If 
you guys could share that, if you scroll down a few posts here on my Facebook page or my YouTube page, if you could give that a share, that would be awesome. We are in desperate needs, desperate need of volunteers out there. Funding, always need funding. But volunteers we really could use help. The grass is just growing so fast now that we're getting to our rainy season. It's getting out of control. There's other chores that need to be done. Barns need to be rebuilt. Enclosures repaired. So if you give that a share, all it takes is one right person to catch that video. Even if you don't live here, one of your friends might live here. Or know a friend that lives here. You know how it works. A friend of a friend of a friend. That's why sharing is so important. To get the word out. It just pyramids. What is, what is that old commercial? I told the friend, I told a friend, was it a shampoo commercial or something? I told two friends. <laughs> There's some old TV commercial back in the old days. Ah, Mr. Sunshine. I don't know if we're going to see Mr. Sunshine again. These clouds blow through, but I don't know. I want to see that low tide up here tonight. See what shape that sandbar has taken since our last super low tide. Hey, my friends. Hey, hey, hey. We got a new nest. We got a new nest of Rooney. That crawl we saw, it's a new one. It's a new one. It was a good one. We saw that in part one when I was walking up here. See what number it is. Sneak over here. Hopefully, I won't get caught. Darn it. And where's the number? Darn it. Can you see that? I can't see that number. The stake is all wet. Huh. For up to 47 or so, maybe more. Oh, and look it over. Definitely a new one. How cool. Those little white flowers next to that. this beach morning glory down here some beach morning glory in bloom that's very cool a lot of little purple flowers on it look at them all lots of little purple flowers in this little clump of railroad vine Boy, we get to see some nice, beautiful things, don't we? Some of God's, so many of God's beautiful creations we get to see here in the morning. Sea turtle nests, beautiful flowers, beautiful clouds, a beautiful beach, beautiful water, beautiful people, beautiful critters at times. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful.
wonder what if there, that big mat of railroad vine looks like down here to the south, down at the south end of Area 4. I wonder if that's starting to load up with blooms. Yeah, Jackie, I can't look at that railroad vine and just not think of Roy. This speech has changed so much. We used to have a little pathway up here out to the beach. Back when the osprey nest used to be up there, there was a big dead tree with the osprey nest up on top. You could always get a really good look at the ospreys, get pretty darn close to them. There was a little pathway there with the bench, and Roy would just sit on that bench staring at the railroad vine. The butterflies, the bees. The captain. Amen to the old captain. He loved his flowers. He just didn't have much of a green thumb. Speaking of the captain, we're just passing by his shrine. And then Audrey's bench under the pine tree over there on the left. Well, it's been quiet here. Very, very quiet morning. As far as other beach walkers, I see a couple coming up the beach. <laughs> see the sun but it's there in that bright spot over there
morning. Look at those clouds. Gorgeous. morning. Good morning, Alberto. Tell you what, I know a lot of you enjoy those sunsets. We're up to 1500 stars here, 1500 stars. If I can get 3500 stars here this morning, we'll, I will talk Kathy into coming out here for a sunset this evening. It's gonna be it's gonna be iffy i don't think it's gonna be rainy it's showing it's showing just clouds in the forecast not partly cloudy it's showing it as cloudy but you never know you know we get those little holes through the clouds those little windows to heaven i call them Or if somebody sends a, a couple people send a tip, that'd be nice too. It's all up to you. Clouds are so beautiful. Hey, Deb. Good morning. How are you? I am good. How are you doing? Good. It's beautiful good out here. You. Good to see you. Good to see you. So we got one new nest up there. Is there where? Up, oh. oh, up away, up in five. Oh, is it really? All right. I couldn't okay. see what the number was on there. What you got? A crab claw? It's just a crab claw. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> Whoa, those fingernails are glowing. <laughs> 
<laughs> what is that? Isn't that weird? It's a little part of a coral reef. Yeah, it's a little piece of coral. Yeah. Wow, that is that is small. It a is. miniature. Yeah. That's what Barb called all her little stuff her miniatures. Yeah. <laughs> How are you doing? All right? Good. Good, good. good. You had a good sunset last night, huh? Man, oh man. Oh my God. Those rays were incredible. Yeah. It was beautiful. I can only imagine. You I know, mean, it's it, much more beautiful in person. Yeah. I mean, that's it. The camera's, you know, it's all right, but it doesn't really do it justice. Yeah. But we know. Yeah. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you can't, you just can't see it all in the yeah. camera. It's, yeah. Yeah. I mean, but those those rays for a little while they just were shooting way up. Yeah. Yeah, I jump on and off, but um. Man, that, you see any dolphins yet? No dolphins. No, no. I don't know where they are hiding. Okay. They seem to be coming out later, or yeah. they're coming out super early. Yeah. Yeah, I was trying to get here to see the moon fall, but the clouds. Yeah, it went, yeah. It was yeah. it was a nice moon. Yeah. The Buck Moon. That yeah. water, oh my gosh, so warm. Yeah. It's like a bit, see, to me, it's like just getting to the point where it's getting too warm. <laughs> Some oh, people are like, oh. It's still refreshing, you know, once you get out and you feel the air. It, when it gets up into the 90s, yeah, <laughs> you know. Yeah. But it's be, it's beautiful. No two ways about it. For sure. Any, have you been to any other beaches lately? Um, just Benita Beach. Benita. Yeah. And anything good up there? Um, not much. I want to go to Sanibel, though. Sanibel? Uh, spoonbills. There's an area where the spoonbills go there. Up at, on the beach or over at Ding Darling? I think Ding Darling. Yeah, the that's, park? yeah, there's yeah. a bunch of them in there. Oh, okay, yeah. It's yeah, funny. It's there. It looks like a big old flock of flamingos. Yeah. That would be a fun oh, little... There's babies, so I was like, oh. Oh, ba yeah, all in the trees. Yeah. That is so neat. Some of the little baby birds are so weird looking. They, yeah. <laughs> they look so comical. Yeah, I know. It's such a cool bird. I'd like... That might be a fun little... I forget how long that is, that drive through there. It's like a big loop. You know, you go in your car. Yeah. I haven't been there. So. Oh, it's, yeah. Play six floor. <laughs> then when, um, yeah, in the in the spring when all the little birds are hatching. Oh. Beautiful, huh? Yep. Lots of, well, there used to be lots of gators there. I don't know. It's, that is a, Ding Darling is a national park. So you're. Your Wiggins card's not going to get you in there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. There's another place where there's some spoonbills. It's, um, God, I can't think of the name of the beach now. It's, I went there one time with Robert. Mm. It's on your, on your way to Sanibel, just before you get to the, just a little before you get to the bridge to go to Sanibel, you make a left. And it's it's Down not bunch way. not bunch beach. Okay. Oh. But we saw there's like a little tiny pass that I walked up to, and there was quite a few spoonbills hanging out up there one morning. Oh, we used to have one up here. Remember that? Yeah, I know. Oh, Pinky. Pinky. Yeah, yes, Pinky. I, I don't remember. know. I don't know whatever happened to Pinky. Oh. Where'd you park? In one. In one. I can get secret access, you know. There you go. <laughs> secret. The secret access. <laughs> the secret. The secret handshake. <laughs> yeah. Oh Lord. All right, I'm gonna stop here and just give my our friends a look around. It's well. It's, we're about low tide now. It's amazing how this the beach is filling in up there. Yeah. You go up there. It's just it blow, it's blowing my mind. It's starting to 
there was like a little finger sticking out of new sand. It's all starting to fill in behind it. I think eventually it's gonna, yeah. it's gonna do what it was supposed to do. So. Love nature, right? Yeah, it's Mother Nature's. That's it. We were kind, of, we're kind of messing with her by putting the sand here, but yeah. she's doing her thing. Yeah. She's yeah. moving it up like she's supposed to. All right. Yeah. Well, you have an awesome morning. This is who I was talking to, everybody. In case you don't know Debbie Ray. <laughs> See you. Have an awesome one. See you, Dabby. Oh. That's nice to have someone to walk on the beach with once in a while in the morning. That's fun. So we're down at the north end of Area 2. I got to check up in the pine tree. For our little feathered friend, our little osprey, see if there's an osprey up there, and I am not seeing an osprey this morning. Don't see that little silhouette up there. Hmm. You know who I did not see on here this morning? Did Daryl pop on this morning? Has Daryl been on with us? I did not. I haven't been staring at the screen here. Janet, good morning. If you're just tuning in, we're up in North Naples, Florida at Del Nor Wiggins Pass State Park, just walking south down the beach, down towards Vanderbilt Beach. Temperatures, eh, somewhere between, I'm guessing, 78 and 80. Water temperatures up to around 88, 89. Water's getting really warm. We did see some gorgeous colors this morning in my first live feed, part one of this morning's beach walk. Go back and check that out. When we got up to Wiggins Pass, just amazing. The eastern sky just exploded with color. Seeing some, some of that doggone red drift algae in the water again. Up here in Area 2, darn it. Again, it's nothing harmful it's just I just don't like to look at it <laughs> I want to see a nice clean clear water and a clean white beach I don't want to see this darn algae washed up there but it is what it is still beautiful I don't care still beautiful Janet God bless you
sun's just about ready to pop up over the trees. It's trying to burn through the clouds, but it's having a tough time. Morning. Oh man, I didn't get to bed till late last night. Didn't get home, I just didn't get home till about 9.30, a little after 9.30 from Marco Island. And I had to do a little work on the computer still. I wound up oversleeping this morning. Couldn't believe it. I opened my eyes and the clock said 5.15. I was like, what? I'm like, holy cow. Went and brushed my teeth, threw my bathing suit on, washed my face, and gave the dogs their cookies, and out the door I went. Normally, I get up, at, I get up about 4, leave the house at 5. Get out here to the beach, have a little of my own beach time. Before going live, that didn't happen this morning. Didn't even have a cup of coffee this morning. Ugh. See what I do for y'all? And the timing just worked out perfect for that sun, for that explosion of color this morning it was so cool you, that's what it looks like for me when i walk up to the beach in the morning you got to normally i'm not live when i walk around the corner of that pass it's always like a big surprise when i'm walking up and i turn that corner and there's no trees blocking the view just condos It's like a big reveal as I walk around the corner there at Wiggins Pass. And this morning was incredible. I never know. I just, you know, because I can't see the horizon. Cannot see the horizon when I'm walking up the beach here because of the tree line. So it's always a surprise when I get up to Wiggins Pass what that horizon looks like. you were watching, you got to experience that with me this morning. Hey, thank you for the stars. We're up to 2,100 stars here this morning, thank you. If we can get up to 3,500 and 3,500 stars, and maybe a tip or two would be sweet. That would definitely give me a little, in, little more incentive to come out here this evening. As much as I love coming out here, I just sometimes in the evening I'm kind of my battery's getting low. My battery, my physical battery, not my camera. Ooh, got close there. Somebody kicked up the ante there. Up to 3,100.
Oh, it's got to be getting close to an hour here. How long have we been going for here, Peter? I feel like I've been walking slow this morning. Good morning, Sherry. 54. Awesome. Thank you, Peter. It was, it was getting there. Usually when I get down to area one. I want to walk up the beach again. I want to see what that railroad vine looks like. Up the north end of area three, south end of area four. Up by that new sea turtle nest this morning, we saw quite a few little purple flowers on it. Just a little clump of it, but had a lot of flowers. Is that the real one? Maybe. Am I in trouble? No. Okay. <laughs> we watch you from Scotland. Scotland? Yeah. Welcome. Can I show y'all? Yeah. <laughs> What's your names? Chris. It's my 40th birthday today. Chris from Scotland, and there's no way you're 40. Yeah. 40 years old? Wow. Congratulations. My wife, Jade. You beautiful bride, Jade. Struin. Struin? And Maisie. <laughs> well, really? Yeah. Is this your first time here? No, um, we were last here in 2017. Um, we stayed at La Playa. Um, so, yeah. are, you, are you on the beach again this, this year? No, this things are crazy. Yeah, <laughs> Pricing. Three times the price. I know, it's crazy. <laughs> We have another friend um, from Scotland that watches. Now I'm at a, drawing a blank with her name now. <laughs> but um, she just, she was here a couple months ago. She okay. comes here a couple weeks. Cool. Joy, um, Joyce Palin is her name. Uh, just because you're, I'm not saying, oh, do you know her? Because you're from Scotland. That's like somebody, oh, but I have a friend in Florida. Oh, do you know so-and-so, know so right? Do you know? So <laughs> but yeah, it's a small world with the social media. That is so cool. It's our last day today. We're oh. going to fly home from Miami tonight. Oh, so you got a little drive ahead of you and then a long trip. It's a nice drive. Yeah. Well, happy birthday. Thank you. That is so I'm neat. See some I hope so for your birthday present. Everybody pray for some dolphins there. We all watched your video a few months back where you were in the water with the dolphins and you, you made a splash and they came up. For that, that was incredible, long wasn't, wasn't it? Yeah. That went on and on. It went on in my live feed and then I stopped and I recorded a video. Yeah. And then I went back and did another live feed, and it, it, was, it lasted for over half an hour. That was... We're off to see Roy's bench. There you go. <laughs> you, you know where it's at? This way somewhere. Yeah, up in Area 4. You'll, uh, you'll find it. Yeah, we'll find it. <laughs> nice to meet you. Yes. Yeah. God bless you. See you later. Oh, that is so cool. Scotland. Scotland, Scotland. 40th birthday today. That's why I'm out here, my friends. That's why I do this, is to bring people together. That is the whole purpose of these morning walks. All right, we're 400 stars short here. I'm going to be ending this live feed here and starting... Live feed number three up for our walk back up the beach. So stick around. Stick around, stick around. If I don't see you later, have an awesome Thursday. A good chance. A good chance for a live feed this evening. Check back on Southwest Florida Television's page around 6 o'clock. A little after 6 and I'll have an update posted probably earlier than that but if you check a little after six it'll be there if you don't see anything about a live feed this evening that means i won't be doing one it'll be most likely a weather issue but anyway i will be back here shortly so stay tuned but until next time stay safe stay healthy and stay strong tally ho my friends tally ho for southwest florida television i'm uh, stan God bless.
Got the stars. Awesome. Tally-ho, tally-ho.